Oscar winner Matt Damon is known for being a leading man in movies like The Martian, Ocean's Eleven, and the Jason Bourne franchise. But Damon's personal mission is off screen. He's working to bring clean water to everyone worldwide. Damon co founded Water.org in 2009 with longtime water expert and engineer Gary White. Their goal is to help more than 660 million people without access to safe water. White created the nonprofit's Water Credit Initiative. It lets people in the developing world access small loans for a water connection or toilet. The program has helped more than 5 million people get safe water and sanitation. First on CBS This Morning, we're joined by Water.org co-founders Matt Damon and Gary White on this World Water Day. Good morning, gents. Good great morning. to see you. Great to A see great you. and important topic to be talking about, Matt. For people who don't understand, why water? Yeah, it's hard for us to understand in the West because, um, you know, none of us have ever even been thirsty. We're only a few steps away from clean water at all times. Um, you know, we've got faucets everywhere. There, there are public faucets we can access. Um, in fact, the water in our toilet bowls is actually cleaner than the, uh, these 660 million people have access to. So, uh, so that's kind of our first hurdle to clear is just explaining to people here in, uh, in our country, you know, that this is a problem because this is killing a child every 90 seconds. Um, you know, which is really unconscionable in this in this day and age. This, really, the, this really came home to you on a trip to Ethiopia, which is one of the countries that that you're in, right? Yeah, um, yeah. It, it's uh, w you know we've we've run across these um, women and girls because it's primarily women and girls who are affected by this it, disproportionately because uh, the water collection will usually fall to them. So right. you've got all of these girls who aren't in school because they're tasked with scavenging for water for the family. And so, you know, you can see what that would do to their outcome, you know, the, or, the, or what they can expect from their life. And so, uh, not only is this kind of unnecessarily killing uh, children, but it's also really affecting their lives in, in other ways. It's, it's, it's robbing them of hope. What, what can be done? Uh, well, uh, for one, well, we're, on, we're celebrating yeah. World Water Day yeah. today, and, yeah. and you know, and you're having us on to, to uh, uh, kind of try to help people become aware of this. Um, so beyond recognition. Uh, well, beyond recognition uh, and beyond going to water.org and learning more and, and making a donation, um, you know, f you know, for us, uh, I mean, I guess we should we can talk about water credit or we can talk yeah. about. Um, well, you guys need. You got, you're trying to raise 200 billion dollars for in, water in, equity in, in, today. Right. Yes. yes. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but in, in kind of a new way, what, I mean, what yeah. are you looking at doing here? Well, there's a couple of ways. I mean, well, first of all, I think one thing people can do very concretely is, you know, we're partnering with Stella Artois with this Buy a Lady a Drink campaign, and people right. can, can go to that and, and make a contribution uh, through buying one of their chalices. But what we're doing is looking at this from a completely different perspective, right? So we know that people in these countries are already paying huge amounts of money for water. And what we want to do is help them get access to small loans because we know there's never going to be enough charity yep. to get water to everyone. I was, I was in Peru just last week. I met a woman there who had taken out a loan for a water connection at her house. Before that, she was having to walk down this mountainside to buy water from a water vendor, mm -hmm. poor quality water. That water was costing her 13 times more per gallon than the water that she now has in her tap. Yeah. So you can see there's, there's about 500 million people in the world who could get access to water and sanitation through small loans, we believe. And so that's the genesis of the Water Credit Initiative to really multiply philanthropy and go beyond philanthropy into uh, investing. And the great thing about these loans is that they pay back at 99% and above. So. Uh, and 94% of our borrowers are, are women, right? Exactly. And so, what happens is the is the loans as they come back, they get sent out and they and they get recycled. So you're driving down the philanthropic cost of capital per person, right? So whereas normally a direct impact, you know, like a, like digging a well, for instance, would it, it's about $25 to bring someone clean water for life. Well, in our most mature loan programs, we've got that down to about five dollars because the because the money just kind of keeps going out and coming back. You have evidence that it is resonating around the world. I mean, you've been to international conferences and places like that. Uh, in a world that is complex, there are all kinds of wars going on. Uh, there are all kinds of conflicts taking place. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Uh, you know, I, I think all we can do is keep trying to get the word out and 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 hope that it resonates. I mean, I do feel like. Certainly, this generation of millennials is far more dialed into this stuff than I was when I went, you know, 
uh, you know, our Generation X, I think, was kind of entirely out to lunch. <laughs> but but I, I think I think I think as our world gets gets more connected, people are people are a lot more aware of some of these things. Do you feel like though we are at the precipice of a more internationalist America? I mean, given what we're doing in, in certain sectors, cutting or suggestion not. or not yeah. of cutting foreign aid, are you, are you optimistic about America's role in the world and Americans themselves as sort of engage and people who want to engage with the international? I am always optimistic about Americans and America's role in the world, irrespective of what it, whatever administration we have and what, what they're doing. Um, you know, and again, and, and, and the foreign aid piece isn't, isn't a partisan thing. I mean, our most generous president in terms of foreign aid, you know, over the last four presidents was George W. Uh, Bush, who, um, you know, PEPFAR was something that I saw firsthand, you saw firsthand. I mean, you know, I, I, I remember over a decade ago being in Africa and, and in, uh, in Zambia and somebody coming up and hugging me because they found out I was American and they just wanted to say thank you. Yeah. They said, I'm alive. You know, this, you know, PEPFAR, you know, this person had AIDS and they were given life-saving medication through PEPFAR and, and, you know, and that was all George W. Bush. And I, many moons ago, you and I traveled to the South Africa-Zimbabwe border and to see the, the, the to touch the people yeah. Who have in turn, whose lives have been saved by AIDS? Yeah. I mean, sorry, by by, by AIDS. ARVs. Yeah, yeah, uh, by AIDS. Will forever change you as a person? I think. That's right, and and I think I think foreign aid can get you know it, it, it can get a bad rap, and people are told that it's kind of money down a rabbit hole, and it and 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 it's not. I mean, in in the water sector, for example. You get eight dollars back for every dollar invested. It's actually a very good investment. And then there's the whole national national security piece, which yeah. is, you know, and, and it was it was James Mattis who said, uh, you know, three or four years ago, he said he literally said, if you if you cut this State Department budget, you know, you got to buy me more ammunition. Yeah, I right. mean, I so you know, the, the, this soft power, this or this, you know, it's it's incredibly important. Um, in, in a in a technological age, is it? And I need a quick answer here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is it likely that we'll figure out a way for de-Stalinization? Well, desalination is really too expensive still for the world's poor. It's so energy intensive. But we believe that by taking approaches like water credit and our, our water equity investment fund, we can actually use private capital to get water and sanitation to the, the world's poor. Right. Gary White, Matt Damon, thank you both for being here this morning.